Trapping season is here, boys. So what's up, guys? Good to bunch back on the video. Trapping season finally in. Um, the forgot what date it is like. Um, over into the 22nd. And already got some wire around the tree. Um, got some steam tracks over there. And the wire around the tree gonna sit down here. Uh, the creek's up right now, so might. Hopefully it goes down because I got a feeling they're going to cross this creek maybe. I don't know, I'm not an expert coon tracker. We got a dog proof, so um, once we get it set and got the dog food in, we'll catch you back. So Jake's, ho so Jake's over there walking, so yeah. Um, we just got it set, I'll show you. Let me show my other face. There it is, and it was pretty tough to set for Jake. It's um, really hard, but we it should get the trick. It should get the should get done. Yeah. So Jake's looking for another spot to set a another trap. So we'll catch you once we find another spot to set one. So we got the dog proof set just now. There's a trail kind of running through there. And there's a big trail coming through there, and they kind of funnel in here and just kind of I don't know. It's just a good place to set a coon trap. We're not excellent trappers, but we're just trying to catch a couple of coons this year. And possums. Even though we caught like a million possums last year, there probably ain't no possums left in the countryside. There's this big hill, so they're going to have to funnel right down into here pretty much. That's what we're trying to do. And we saw some coon tracks, and we set one over there, so they're just going to, if there's two or three, might catch one right there and might catch one right here. And we might go buy some more this week because we're going to go up up more of the creek. We might go buy some more and go down. So um, hopefully we can catch a couple. We're going to be checking them every day. And um, if we get one, you probably hear about it. We're going to set two or three more and we might set like a foothold. We're just trying to set a foothold for a raccoon. We're not real clean with them. So um, we don't know. So catch you at the next trip. So Go. guys, um, we're about, um, did you, are you recording? Okay. So um, we're about uh, 50, 60 yards from last trap, and there is coon tracks, some fresh coon tracks, and there we, we had some rain, so it probably washed out some more coon tracks. But I got a feeling there's gonna be some coons moving through here. They're just moving along the creek. I don't feed in, I, I'm not the smartest coon guy ever, but. I just know there's coons here. So um, we're gonna get this trap set and then move on probably, see if we can find any better trapping spots, but move on probably 100 yards from here. Set out one more trap and then we got some footholds and we might, I've kind of saw where they've done the trails and dig out a spot and then you put it there for coons. So might do that, might just go on home. We don't know, just setting out traps, so. Go. So I just got it set, it's right there. Um, Got some dog food in it and uh, put some of the scent right there. Really good stuff. Yeah, so. Hopefully we'll catch some coons tomorrow. We're gonna go a little bit farther, like I said, up the creek and set some more. I know this has probably been a little bit longer video, but hey, I like, I mean, if, you, if you're trapping, you give us some, t uh, you teach us how to trap or put a comment down below if you're good at trapping and you got some advice. We would really like to know about it because, you know, we're young trappers, so just trying to catch some coons and maybe one day might catch a coat, so yeah. catch the next one. So Jake's um, setting up this foothold. So leave a comment down below if you've ever trapped, but leave a comment down below if this is a smart idea or not. First time I've ever tried this, there's this kind of, there's this indent to the creek and I'm, right here. the coons have kind of traveled going to the creek. And I've kind of digged me a little section out. I got a feeling they'll walk. There's some woods right there. And I got a feeling they're going to walk down this way and they're going to step on it. Now, leave a comment down below if you've ever tried it or not. This is the first time I've ever tried it. Figured I might give it a try. I saw it before. I saw a guy do it kind of on a fence row. I don't know if I'm doing it right or not. But, hey, if you ain't, ain't going to try it, I mean, it's better to try it than not to try it. Yep. I mean, you're going to miss 100% of shots you don't take, so... Hey, we might we might get lucky and catch a coyote or a bobby. 
which we're, we're not going for a cow or a bobcat. But if, if it steps right there. We're going for a coon or maybe an otter. There you go. There's, could be a muskrat. Who knows? It's a smaller um, foothold, but it gets the job done. So, okay. Hey guys, if we didn't have a ranger today, I don't know what we'd be doing right now. Be sitting it, be sitting it by the house. Honestly. Okay, we'll catch you once we get to the next spot. Got a coon trap. Only thing is, this is um. So we just set the trap, it's right there, it's, right, it's along this road, there's some coon prints right there to try it. <laughs> 